Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, in honor of spooky season, we have a little spooky headband because why not? So today I decided to do a video that I feel like a lot of you guys need because I feel like a lot of girls feel like it's a little hard to take content for Instagram and I've been doing this for damn near five years already. I realized that it's really not that necessary to go out of your way to find a photographer, to ask a friend to take pictures because really you can kill it in your own home. So because I do have to turn in a lot of content um, daily, I have managed to uh, figure out how to take my own pictures even at home when I don't feel like going out, when it's raining, or I just, you know, I know I'm gonna be by myself. I don't wanna be like outside with a tripod. So if you guys are looking to get more content for your Instagram, whether that be for uh, your brand or for yourself, and you kind of need ideas or kind of how to just get content pretty quick without having to stress yourself out or think that you need a whole on team for your pictures, you really don't. But you know, obviously this is just an easier, faster way. I'm just gonna teach you guys how I basically get ready and get the content done in my house so we're gonna go through a quick makeup nothing crazy a quick hairstyle outfit and how to take the pictures so if you guys are interested in seeing that and the process of that don't forget to keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on social media i also have my brand v-shape if you guys want to follow and we also have a store in downey if you guys ever want to go shop downey california if you're interested i will be leaving all the information down below so without further ado let's get into the video all right guys so before i start doing this makeup i did want to share with you guys this super cool jewelry brand that i'm really into if you're like me i'm the type of person that wears very simple jewelry for like every day i do try to use like extra jewelry when i'm gonna take like crazy photo shoot pictures but for like every day something to just have on daily i do like it more simple i do like the simple vibe i wanted to share with you guys this brand called called Anna Luisa and honestly I love their pieces they're very simple dainty and just perfect for every day and I think with the holidays coming up they're a perfect gift so if you know me I'm a silver queen like I really only like silver jewelry so I picked out some pieces that I can add to like my everyday look which I'm really excited so the first item that I want to show you guys is this cute little bracelet called the Lisa bracelet and it has a little heart right there and it's just perfect for every day like it's the perfect little bracelet to just have on so this is what it looks like and I'm just so excited to have just like a little something on my wrist for the everyday so the next piece that i want to show you guys are these earrings so i picked these out so basically these are like super cute little like um they almost look like nose rings just like a little diamond and then it just curls up so i thought these were super perfect to put on my second hole that i have on my ears So I already have a choker on that I wear every day. So I did want something a little longer. So pretty. And like I have another diamond right here. So it just like adds. I like super tiny stuff like this. So if you guys want to check out Ana Luisa. So I totally recommend checking out Ana Luisa if you like any of these cute little pieces. And another thing that I like about this brand is that they're sustainable. And they start at $39. And you also save some money if you use my discount code WOWVAL10. But yeah, guys, don't forget to check out Anna Luisa. I know you guys will love them because I love them. And if you like what I love, then you will love them as well. <laughs> All right, guys. So for today, we're going to just do a quick glam. So sometimes when I'm not feeling like I have to sit there and do the whole shebang because some people like, you know, sometimes we do take 
our time with our makeup but sometimes like you don't you're not really feeling it so we're gonna do that quick beat but still look really good in camera um i've noticed that when my hair and at least my skin is on point pictures come out bomb i'm gonna go ahead and use this um hyaluronic hyaluronic plump cream from the glow recipe so i'm not gonna lie the glow recipe has had some good 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 products their serums are bomb and i just feel like i genuinely feel like i like how it feels on my skin it just preps like these products prep your skin so well for makeup it's insane we're gonna make sure we get a good coverage when it comes to pictures just because we want to avoid having to edit too much so i'm gonna go ahead and use this reboot um makeup forever foundation so what i really like about this foundation is that it is um um hydrating so i can't do the matte foundations i rarely can even do satin i like when they have good coverage and they're still very hydrating luminous because i end up matting it anyways with my powders but if i i'm on my face is already dry so if i use a matte foundation with powders my my face is just gonna be like a whole cake so i use the color y315 Guys, i'm telling you this foundation color literally matches my actual like color to the t like it's one of the foundations that i'm able to find a color so i wanted to really try the nars one but i cannot find a color to match my skin they're either way too yellow or way too orangey and i just haven't been able to find like a color that's good for me i'm like very neutral um i'm not too pink i'm not too yellow and i'm not too olive so it's kind of hard for me to find the shade i would love to try more foundations but it's all that's always like the problem with me so now that we have a good layer of foundation um it's luminous it covers but it's not to the point where like you can't see anything i like a little bit of skin to show so i was in la so i have my little travel box right here I love this one. I actually just got it from Amazon. If you guys want to get one, I'm going to leave it linked down below. They're just perfect for when I travel. I'm kind of getting my makeup out of there. So I'm going to use my trusty Kosas Concealer. It's just the one that's been working for me lately. I was very obsessed with uh, Tarte for a while, but I just feel like this one's a game changer just because it feels a little bit more hydrating and it just feels better on the skin overall. Um, especially if you like take care of your skin it's a concealer that you're not gonna feel like ugh, wearing all day type of thing so I'm using the Kosas concealer in the color 3 so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline super stay active wear concealer and this is in the color 57 and I use this to contour it smells very chemically. I think that's one thing that I noticed about drugstore makeup. It does smell extremely chemically. Alright guys, so we are all contoured. We're going to go ahead and set our face really quick. I was able to restock the Huda Beauty, the Huda Beauty powder because, girl, let me tell you, why is this shit so hard to get? Especially because, um, so a new little utensil that I'm using is this little sponge. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this. A lot of uh, makeup influencers, makeup artists are starting to use it. It's a little powder puff and it literally fits like literally perfect underneath your eyes. And it definitely sets a little bit more, um seamless than your beauty blender so does it did change my under eye game completely and it just has like the perfect shape for like under your contour or your eyes i'm just gonna use the rest to kind of set areas that are a little bit shiny nothing crazy just go over it once and that's it 
Okay, so I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury little palette and it is the Firm Star Bronze and Glow. So it has the sculpting powder and then the highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the sculpting powder to sculpt my face. They said we're getting spooky. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose really quick with that same powder. And for those days that you just want to be a little bit quick, I'm going to go ahead and use that same color and pop it in my eyelid just to create a little bit of shadow on my eyes. Nothing crazy, just a little bit to sculpt your lid. So next we are going to go ahead and do our brows. I'm going to use my Benefit Precisely My Brow in the color 3.5. I've been kind of just doing my normal shape lately. I've been a little bit lazy to kind of cut off my tail. So yeah, we're kind of just going to fill in what we have. Okay, so now we're gonna swipe off this under eye powder. What I do is I kind of just tap. I've noticed that when I sweep it off, I kind of like mess it up. So I just tap it off. Tap, 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 gently. Boom, 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 boom. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some blush. So today's tutorial is not very in depth. The only reason why is because on days like these that like i'm not trying to go too in just because i only have to take content um i don't really care to do like all the extra super steps so i'm using the baddie on the block um blush that i just love now we're gonna go ahead and set our face i'm gonna go ahead and use the tart um stay spray All right, so next we're gonna do a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna use this Juvia's um, Place highlighter in the color Cleo. I used to use this highlighter all the time and I haven't used it in a while. It's so pretty. I just, I like really soft highlighters. I hate very like, me like metallic-y ones, I don't know. Put some on the tip of my nose and then on my inner corner yo the thunder is a no joke today so i thought i'd add a little bit of eyeliner it looked a little plain so i'm gonna use the kat von d brown liner just to do like my inner corner over here Okay, so before we get into the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. I think the simplest look for pictures is basically just straight down and tucked in Kim K vibes. Kim K vibes a couple years ago. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and um, straighten my hair and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some edge control and some hairspray and put this down right here. You can go ahead and tie like a little tie back here if you wanna make it look even more slick. Okay, so we straightened our hair, and so now we're gonna go ahead and tuck it in. So make sure that this line right here is straight. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some hairspray. So I'm gonna grab some edge control, like, whoa, this line is not down the middle. Okay. 
super simple hairstyle but like you look clean you look very put together all right guys so i did up finishing up my lip off camera just because i filmed a reel so if you want to see that reel it's on my instagram so i did a little fall lip just because i always do like the nudes um ysl sent me a huge package and honestly i'm shook because i didn't think i was this special um they sent me like some uh lipsticks they're more on the reddish side so i did i decided to do something with them so I went ahead and used the color 06 and it looks a little something like this. I used a Maybelline lipstick. It's called Color Sensual Shaping Lip Liner in the, color, in the color Raw Chocolate. And then I used that and then I used the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the color 32 which is the lightest color they have. And then I topped it off a little bit with this Batty B gloss in the color Nude. And then we got this. Something a little different. Now we're going to get into how I take the pics. So there's some essential things that you do need for you to be able to take your own picture. So the first thing is two tripods. So one tripod is going to be the one that has your light and you can use any led light we have found that the ring light isn't as effective when it comes to pictures um the light of it is not as flattering any smaller led light will work it it just focuses a little bit more on your face on your skin and you're able to kind of like um pick the temperature so sometimes when the light is a little too white you look washed out and then if it's too yellow it's just not a vibe so you are able to kind of like play around with it and so i'm gonna go ahead and leave this linked down below i got it on amazon and i believe it's like 70 dollars make sure you get the tripod with it so um you're able to stand it because you're not gonna have anybody kind of like holding it for you so the other tripod that you need is the one to hold your phone. So it looks a little something like this. This one's broken, which means you're going to, need to get a new one. It recently gave up on me, but this one is super bomb. And yeah, I got it on Amazon, on Amazon as well. I'm telling you, on Amazon, you can literally find anything. So we need the stand for the light. We need the stand for the phone. And then the last thing, which is extremely important to be able to get a bunch of pics um, that you can basically kind of like choose from is your is basically a self timer clicker this is so you're able to kind of like go far away and not have to be right next to your phone kind of like clicking it like this so the self timer um is amazing and it basically saves you from having to have someone click when you need to take the picture so those are the essentials as long as you have a phone you are good to go all right guys so i kind of want to show you guys the setup we have the light over here excuse my dirty clothes uh, we have the light over here and then we have the tripod right here for the phone so all you want to do is just kind of put your phone right here and then we have a nice little setup right here so i do recommend that if you want to take some bomb pics use a plain background if you're going to be at home if it's raining or something like that um a, a white background always does the damn thing but if you want to take the setup outdoors you can even if it's like in a parking garage or anything like that you can go ahead and do that so here i have my clicker that connects to my phone all i have to do is when i'm posing just kind of grab it like this and then just click 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 and then you'll be fine you won't even be able to see it so that's basically the setup of when like i don't want to leave my house and i still need to get some content in so i will make sure and i'll just do this get the picture in and you get great quality still today i'm doing a little promo pic for a brand for instagram so i'm gonna get that done and i will link down below all the stuff that you need to take those pictures but i'm gonna give you guys just a little tiny tutorial um, of how it goes down
and that's how we do it guys just remember that it takes a little bit of practice but that you are absolutely able to take your own pictures let me know if this helped let me know if you guys want to know anything else and a thank you Anna Lisa again for sending me those items today the jewelry again guys if you guys want to get some bomb everyday jewelry dainty cutesy um, a gift for somebody don't forget to check out Anna Luisa and use my code wowval10 to save some money off especially the holidays are coming very soon and if you are the type that like to plan ahead don't forget to check that out I will leave them a link down below as well and yeah guys I will see you guys in the next video